Hi. We're taking, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at Deus Ex, the original, from way back when. This is a game series I've liked up until the Human Revolution, something like that. That's a good game. I haven't played the new one, The Mankind, The Night, or just love your mixed things about it. But this is the original here, so we're just going to do our new game. I guess we're going to go through the training mission. Alright. UNATCO training facilities, Continental United States. We are Continental already. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the academy. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Cool. That's a good idea. The key on the desk opens encryption-based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Nice. Okay, where is that key ring? I was listening. I was uh, too busy with that lamp. There's a key ring somewhere. Oh, I got a house plant. Yeah. Oh, that's a nano key. I thought it was a can of soda. Alright, it's locked, it's locked. Alright, I'm figuring it out. Yeah, I unlocked it with my nano key. Alright. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Press F2 to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. Cool. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible, but the others contain things you might find useful. Pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. Doors have two strength values. The door strength tells you how much damage a door takes before being destroyed. The lock strength tells you how many lockpicks will be required to pick the lock. Some doors have infinite strength and an infinite lock strength. That means you have to find a key. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. Use the disposable multi-tools on the table to hack the keypad up ahead. A multi-tools resources are finite. When a tool is depleted, it becomes useless. The manual describes other uses for the multi-tool. At higher skill levels, you'll need less time and multi-tool resources to hack a given device. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. I did it. I'm fully trained. Yeah. Oh, what happened here? Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Wow. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, That's, pick uh... up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. That's some commitment. Real commitment. Real... Where's the table he was talking about? Locked. Oh, right, I'm supposed to use my key ring. My bad. Yeah. Good work. I'll get someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. 
move on to the next area. Darkness. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. So weed. Get my bearings. Ah, uh, yeah. You're not a mech, but you're enough of a machine to need repair both now and then. If you used up some bioelectric energy getting through the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. Congratulations, you completed phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set off alarms and alert guards to your location. Jump across the platforms. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use these stairs to begin again. I already did that. You need to go through the door up ahead, but it's blocked. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you can press the tab key by default. Super sneaky. Metal crates make such little noise. Well, did it. I'm a, I'm a real now, cool Asian guy. Now, the at the other end of the room. By default, you look up and use the arrow keys to climb. The lag. What's going on with this lag? Should not be happening. We get some complaints about this swimming coaster because the water's contaminated. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Not pretty. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on when they select again and press the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once, and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the to climb in. These medical boots, normally used for quick healing, are of particular interest to you, JC, because you need a bot's help to install new augmentations. If you took any damage during this swim, now's a good time to get patched up. And in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. Yeah, I don't cheat. Not even in a relationship. progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. But I don't have a gun. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Okay. Just wondering how I was gonna get a uh, pistol. Okay. Good. If you hold your aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out wide and tightens as you hold. The longer you aim as a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. Oh, this one. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, I'm not really sure what he was talking about. There we go. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. Yes, sir. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Yeah, bro. I'll be your cooperative. You aren't done yet. I didn't say I was. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Yeah, no. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the uh, rifle okay. scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. Let's get on with it. The right bracket key. Is he saying the right bracket key? Uh, I must have misheard him. Yeah, I definitely misheard him. Alright, well, we're just gonna try to shoot this thing. I did Excellent. it. Excellent. Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Good fuck. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. I told the other guys. I'm a pretty faithful person. This is the demolitions training area. First you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the walls are proximity triggered. Oh, this button here you mean. The one that was hidden. Yes. Okay. Boom. Yeah. This time you will place your own lamb. Take a lamb from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. Take of all. You said one, but I got eight. Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. it. All right. I died. I was having a lot of fun. I can crawl and stuff. Huh. Alright, well, uh... Where am I supposed to go now? Uh... Help me, security bot. Help me. Alright, well, I think I'm screwed here. I think I just messed the whole training thing up. Uh, yeah. It's kind of getting bored with it. Oh, uh, this is how you do stuff. Uh, okay, great. Guess I shouldn't have done the training video. Let's see if we can find a healing station. What is this? Alright. Medbot. I did it. Alright. Definitely need more of those uh, proximity mines. However, I seem to have exhausted the proximity mines. over 
gear. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I guess, uh, some screwed here. I messed it all up. Oh well. What else can I do? I have fun. Well, this is gonna look at Deus Ex, the original. If I was you and you were playing this game, that would be me playing this game. I would not do that training. It's just a bunch of redundant stuff. It is a cool game once you get into it. It's all about cybernetic enhancements and uh, robots. Coming of the machine. Cyborgs. Alright, well, hope you like what you've seen. I hope you have a great day. Bye.